How to overcome rejection from a job. No one likes to be rejected for a job. Whether you had your heart set on getting hired or weren't even sure you wanted the gig, it still stings to find out that you've been turned down. It can be especially hard to cope with job search rejection when it happens over and over again. But that's not an uncommon experience for job seekers. Remember that in many cases, there are perhaps hundreds of applicants for a single job opening. Even if you're extremely qualified, it stands to reason that you'll be rejected more often than you'll get the job. To succeed in your long-term goal of finding that dream opportunity and getting hired, you need to learn to cope with being turned down. Otherwise, it's easy to let mo uh, momentary setbacks turn into a major career roadblock. So tip, the process of finding the perfect job for you is a lot like dating. As the saying goes, you have to kiss a lot of frogs before you find your prince or princess. How to move on after a job rejection. Moving on after not getting a job offer can be broken down into three parts. Getting over the rejection, analyzing the ca your candidacy, and moving forward with your job search. Getting over the re rejection. The first step is getting over rejection by a potential employer. Entails sharing the frustration, disappointment, and anger that accompanies any loss. Talk to a friend or family member and share your feelings in a confidential setting. Just be sure that you pick your support as well. The ideal person to share with is someone who won't be, become a future boss or coworker. Even though your feelings are understandable, you won't want them to make a bad impression or someone on someone who might later evaluate your candidacy for another job. Family members are a good choice, as well as old friends you've been with you through good times and bad. And whatever you do, resist the urge to saying anything negative to the hiring manager. You never know whether you might want to apply for the organization again in the future. Sometimes it's hard to know exactly why a candidacy was rejected, and it could be that you were overqualified. If that's the case, the employer may come back to at a later date with a better job offer. Again, it's important to recognize the most that most searches are quite competitive and many talented candidates are often rejected due to a tight job market. It is quite likely that the employer is not actually rejecting you, but rather saw another candidacy as a slight, even maybe even slightly better fit. Because hiring decisions are typically subjective, it is entirely possible that another recruiter might have chosen you. Also keep in mind that maybe the hiring manager was right and this job wasn't the best fit for you and you wouldn't have worked out and been happy in the role. In that case, the company did it, you a favor by not hiring you. Tips. Venting can be a very useful tool for letting go on of the negative and moving on. Taking the time to respond to a rejection with a follow-up email can help with your candidacy for other positions with the organization. Analyzing your candidacy. Take the time to reflect on your approach to the hiring process to see if there is anything you can improve upon in the future. Review your resume cover later and what transpired during the interview and your follow up after the interview. Given what you learned about the job requirements, people involved, ask yourself if you could have done something differently in order to present yourself in a better light and one that made you seem like a better fit for the job. Though not typical, sometimes an employer will share feedback about your candidacy. If that's not the case and you developed a rapport with anyone at the organization, try approaching them with a request for constructive criticism. Keep your job search moving forward. Candidates often lose momentum with their search while waiting to hear if they landed a job, especially if they think they nailed the job interview. Don't fall into that trap. It's never a good idea to stop looking until you have been offered and accepted a job offer. Until you have something in writing, continue with your search. Finding your options and receiving position positive um, responses from interviewers will often soften the blow if you are rejected. You might also find a better offer regardless of whether you land this particular job. So keep applying, networking, and working on your long-term career plan. Best case scenario, you'll be even more attractive candidate for the job you're considering 
worst case scenario, you won't have to start from scratch with a brand new job and a brand new search. So key takeaways, job search rejection happens to everyone. It's what you do next that counts. Use this opportunity to perfect your interviewing skills and analyze your approach. Feel free to vent, but choose the right support system. Don't say anything negative to the hiring manager or anyone who might report back to the employer. Don't lose your momentum. Even when things look promising with one employer, don't stop your job search until you have an offer in hand. Keep in mind that the hiring manager may be doing you a favor. The job might truly not be a bad fit, might be a bad fit for you. Or you could get a call later on for a better position at the same company.